here to protect the rule of law? Yes, my lord. Do you think you're about the law? No, my lord. Do you think your conduct allows you to continue holding public office? Uh, yes, my lord. The, the conduct of not obeying the rule of law allows you to hold office? Here I am, my lord. I have obeyed. <laughs> Yes, my lord. Do you find it uh, difficult that the day you chose to come to court today is the same day that uh, the three petitioners have been found? Do you find it uh, disturbing as uh, an acting inspector general, a former acting inspector general, and currently a deputy inspector general? My lord, that is subject to investigation. <laughs> As police officers, we will have to go further and investigate. Also, have a. My question was very rhetorical. Do you, you look at the coincidence between the day you, you've been you, you've chosen. I'm saying you've chosen because we have had eight instances before here, which you you chose not to come. Do you find it disturbing that the day you chose to come to court? <coughs> My Lord, I don't find it disturbing because to me, up to now, I'm not aware where, whether they have been found. My second question, Mr. Masengeli, you have apologized to the court for not honoring those seven summons. Is that an admission of guilt from your part? My Lord, that's not an admission of guilt, but I explained myself, my Lord. Why did you apologize? If truthfully, your affidavit, the one you have supplied to the court, if whatever you have sworn and presented to the court is true, why are you apologizing for doing the right thing? Because, my Lord, I was supposed to be here in person. You are supposed to be here in person. And here I am, my Lord. You apologize to you being here in person, not to your conduct of disobedience. It's a straightforward. My apology is to pray that the Lord of this court accepts the apology that I just made, vacate the conviction and the sentence. Mm -hmm. So, so I pray to my Mr. Lord. Gilly to say that you have confirmed to this court that you are guilty and the court convicted you because of that apology and the sentence? No, my lord. Lastly, uh, my last question is on the orders. From the time this petition was filed by the Law Society of Kenya, at what point did you see the first order of this court? Or come across the first order summoning you? My Lord,
to do it, not any other person. Well, Lord, you're opening a big door for them, huh? Just be firm. No, no. Say the advocate should be there. The line is too long. Okay, let me see. Where is the controversy? No, where is the controversy? Where are the court orders? They let my daughter. Can you get those people out of that?